only there was a way through this damn snow. I'm just going outside. I may be some time. Welcome to Scrap Heap Challenge, the show which demands two teams build metallic monsters from our mountains of scrap. And this week's teams will have to get a dig on as we challenge them to race up this frozen slope, clearing massive snow drifts as they go. Our first team of semi-finalists are a bunch of grease monkeys from Blackpool who love nothing better than burning up and down the seaside strip. Putting the pedal to the metal is Captain Coxie, closely followed by scavengers Grubbo and Tony. Hoping to leave the competition for dust, they are the Dark Riders. Their fellow semi-finalists are fish fanatics from Dorset, who build and design sea-like environments for all manner of fishy friends. Keeping the boys in line is Captain Lottie, ably assisted by scavengers Nutty and Wally. Let's hope they don't get out of their depth. It's the aquarium crew. Welcome to the semi-final teams. You've done well to get this far, but I hope you don't lose your cool as you face your toughest challenge yet. Teams, you must build Hill-climbing, snow-shifting machines. It's snow joke, teams, as you have only 10 hours to do it, starting on the sound of the gong. Wait for it, teams. Wait for it. You know the drill. Hang on. Oh! Go! These teams face an ice capade of epic proportions as they must race up a 10 degree slope in temperatures of minus four, clearing three huge snowdrifts that stand between them and the finish line. An uphill snow shifting machine. Thingy. Mm. Right. With Tracks. 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 Big, big tracks. tracks. Snow chain, something like normal car wheels. Normal car wheels, yeah. <laughs> just like a spinning wheel. If we just had a round thing. Like that, with just bits on it, like that. We can't use a plough, so it's going to be some type of blower. Yeah, keep Need constant to. traction. Yeah, so we don't sink into the snow. Rotor, Rotor yeah. yeah. You can see yeah. why these teams made it through to the semis. <laughs> They're brimming with good ideas. What about a big flamethrower? Ooh, yeah. just as it was going so well. Call in the experts. Now, England is not exactly known for snow experts, so we got the next best thing heavy plant engineers who work in some of the most difficult environments in the world. The Dark Riders can call upon a man who's an army-trained heavy plant engineer. He's proved his aggregate shifting capabilities in last year's Earth Movers. Welcome back, Ken Campbell. Hello, yeah, team. How are we looking? Well, what we're thinking of is um, four-wheel drive if possible, just normal car tyres, thinking about a snow chain sort of arrangement. On the front, we're thinking like a sort of reverse type lawnmower thing. Paddle come blade sort of thing. Just that's gonna spill scoop that video and throw it at the driver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a good idea. We like this. What about blade out the front? A couple of arms off the bottom of there. Big bucket. Cut a hole in the back of the bucket. Put an impeller here. Right, so that forces it into the impeller and then yep. off. We the drive arms. forward with the chains up the hill. Snow goes in here into the impeller. Impeller just throws it out the top. The Dark Rider's plan is to fabricate a giant bucket that they'll mount on a four-wheel drive. As they drive into our snow drifts, a motorised screw will break up the snow and feed it into an engine-driven fan or impeller that'll blow it out the side. But with so many moving parts and engines, let's hope these bike nuts don't pop a piston. We want about a metre diameter impeller. 
Mm. All right. Right? 2,000 RPM. So um, it's balanced, eh? Are, are, like <laughs> are you liking it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keeping the aquarium crew's heads above water is a man who knows all about icy conditions as he's developed a vehicle to cross the Bering Straits that separates Siberia and Alaska. He's got a scrappy pedigree too, having been an expert in Juggernaut Series 7. Welcome back, Mark Hale. Good morning. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, Mark. All right. Have you come to save the day? Well, we're, we're not going to use a tank. Oh. We're not going to use a tank, no. <laughs> tracks, good idea. Yeah. Need tracks, doesn't matter how big or small. OK. Mm. Basically, if we have, if you've got your screw, like so, we screw all the snow out to the side, okay. which will be mounted on the front of there. Right. Like their opponents, the aquarium crew are also using an engine-driven screw, which they hope to mount on a tracked vehicle. Unlike their rivals, they hope the action of the screw alone will be enough to shift snow out of their path. It's a much simpler design, but with slow tracks, they could be moving at a snail's pace. Oh. Have you done one before? I keep saying it'll be fine. I've had something to do with snow, yeah. Have you? Good. I mean, basically, what we're looking for, we're looking for like, you know, a bike engine, something like that. Tracks. Tracks. Impeller. Summit that's, that's actually going to throw it out. Put screw. It's easier to spell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> skip. Yeah, skip. Engine on a vehicle. Until we get that, we don't really know what we're working with. Right, you ready? We go. Right. With a place in the final at stake, both teams will be keen to get their hands on the best scrap. Where our two teams are furiously digging out parts from the heap in an attempt to build snow shifting machines. Rob! Rob! Lise, have you seen my boots anywhere? Fish fans, the aquarium crew and their expert Mark are on the hunt for a tracked vehicle to give added traction on the slippery slope. They plan to break up and move snow with an engine-driven screw. There must be something on this heap somewhere. Bike nuts, the dark riders and their expert Ken plan to build a giant shovel with a motorised screw to break up snow and a fan to blow it away. They want to mount it all on a four-wheel drive vehicle. So it's four-wheel drive against tracks. Right, Coxie, we've got a Suzuki Santana, like a Vitara thing here. Yeah, yeah that, that sounds Bob on Grubbo. What's it like? Is it drivable? It's drivable, but there's next to no roof left. Which means you will get covered in snow. Oh, shame. We'll just have to wear our hat. OK, uh, get it back here as soon as you can, if you can, please, mate. And for the dark riders, the first piece of the oh, jigsaw mate, has fallen into place. Four-wheel drive, four -wheel Suzuki. Drive. That'll do me. That sounds good, does that? Yeah. Yep. Workshop it. manual, we come on! It. <laughs> it's a great find, but they've encountered a very elementary problem. That's ignition on. Got a kill switch on there. Just looking for a start button now. So I've got lights on. Chokes out. If you were going off road in this, where would you put the ignition? Oh, but it's not. <laughs> No, he's not going to drive it off. I mean, I, th I think there's off-road capabilities, but this is off-air. You know, I mean, it's just hanging there on bits of metal. You all right? Dark Riders, welcome back to the heat. Hello. You don't believe you're hanging around, do you? No. no. So, you got in there, you found clearly a 4x4. Four four. Yep. yep. Uh, was that top of your shopping list on yep. the scavenger? Pretty much, yeah. So, it nearly drove out, but not quite. Yes, I could see Tony trying to drive it out in what? Natural it wasn't instinct. Quite the safest, safest looking position, I have to say. Uh, he is dispensable. <laughs> We've got That's four of him. Okay, so you've got so four by four is top of your shopping list. Yeah. What else do you need and what, what's your right, design? I need a motorbike mm -hmm. and some sort of ducting cum steer skip. And steel. So and all sorts of all sorts. Right. Do you think this is going to be more difficult than your last build? Yes. Yes. Because we ain't got a clue what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so really These motorbike madmen from Blackpool may not have a clue about snow shifters, but you'll be guaranteed they'll rise to the challenge. Like they did in their last appearance on the heap. When they used all their bike botching experience to fabricate an ultra lightweight, super fast dune buggy. The Dark Riders! That in the end left the happy campers with sand in their faces. Yeah. <laughs> 
as the Dark Riders wrestle out their jeep. The aquarium crew scavengers have found a tank, but it's not one for fish. This one's got tracks. Look at that. What do you reckon, John? Well, it's tracks. What sort of conditions are it in? It's a little bit knackered. But that rusty old lump of machinery is well past its use-by date. Wally and Natty will have to pick up the pace if they want to keep up with their rivals, the Dark Riders. But this team are good under pressure. Perfect! Right, right the nuts are down where's by the left, the down by you. As they proved in their first challenge when they made a giant scooter shooter that surpassed everyone's expectations. In their next challenge, they'd be the first to admit not knowing anything about making a jet engine. This is the bit that stops the whole engine melting. Right, OK. That's the whole oh. guts of the engine. That's the whole guts, and I'm building it. Yes. But a bit of due diligence and following their experts' orders propelled them to success. You got up, Good morning, lads. Hello. Hello. Oh. You got... You got... <laughs> Z, we're oh, gonna have a, a, a <laughs> hammer and a small piece of metal. Yeah, yeah, so good scavenge so far. Yeah. So what? So the the plan is to get to go for a track like a tracked vehicle, what yeah. with something on it yeah. that yeah, exactly pushes it out of the way or mashes it up. I think or, we'll, we'll probably have to make something, won't we? I'm, yeah. We're very lucky to find something. Yeah, I mean, if it's tracked, we just think we're going to get loads of traction on the snow, yeah. and, and then it's just going to be able to propel this thing along mm. quite well. Whereas right. you know, if you've got wheels, they're just going to dig in. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the other team, really busy. <laughs> All right. Like, yeah, he was going through there like he knew what he was yeah, after. He's not doing anything, he's just oh, driving he? around. Oh, is it, he's just being flashed. Yeah. One, two, yeah, track vehicle. Well, I'll have a look. I'll it's go good. have a look. Yeah, You're going to come around. with I us. I've seen one, I must admit, and I've, yeah. I've been around the yard a few times the last few weeks. <laughs> we could be in a lot of trouble. Could we? be in a lot of trouble, yeah. Spurred on, Wally and Nutty continue their scavenge, and it seems a discovery could be just around the corner. What you found, Paul? I found a great big auger. <laughs> Which looks about right, doesn't it? I think we knock this bearing off here and just a little bit. What's it like the other end? I tell you what, I haven't looked. It's an old beet harvester that contains an auger and drive cogs that would be perfect for breaking and moving snow. That could be really useful. Yeah, and these to cogs. drive it. Yeah. So we'll take all of those. Yeah. We take yes. We take it. But they'll need way. to get it out quick. As their opponents, the Dark Riders, have already got their four-wheel drive back to the build bay. You've got a workshop manual, just in case you don't know anything about them. That's great. That Jeep is just one of the three engines they need. So next on the shopping list is something to power their giant fan. What's that? What's that, isn't it? I don't know what it weighs, but it... I don't think this one's going to start, is it? One, two, three, four. <clears throat> no. Whoa! Right, do you don't want to push this yeah. back? Yeah. Well, I'll push it, it's yeah, only there. battling with it for a bit. They took the yeah, I've pushed plenty of backs in my time. Hey! <laughs> Looks good. That's two major build parts to the Dark Riders and to the aquarium crew. Well, none. It's not Moot pulling out. No, it's not pulling out, no. Lottie to Wally. We really need the donor vehicle um, sharpish. OK, then we could do with a breather. <laughs> we'll leave the auger and we'll try and find a donor vehicle. If there is a vehicle with tracks, big yeah. or small, doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, it will save us a lot ideal of work. Ideal. Something with tracks. Big or small, doesn't matter. OK, then big's always better, though, isn't it? Instead of tracks, the aquarium crew scavengers come across something very big and blue. No, it's not a whale. It's an engine from a Sherpa van. There's, there's a big pile. That could be just right to power their snow shifting screw. Right. Let's get this thing out. Oh, man. You're right there, John. Dude. Oh, no. Two, three. <coughs> Two, three. <coughs> oh. Yeah, after their last build, which is a very lightweight jet engine, I think this is proving to be a little bit more heavy metal. Whilst the aquarium crews struggle with that giant engine that'll be mounted on a tracked vehicle, they've yet to find. The Dark Riders are going from strength to strength. They found an old filing cabinet that lacked as a shovel for their snowblower. And then a screw which they hope can break up the snow at the front of the shovel. 
Oh, perfect. Well, that'll do. That'll do. There's enough straight bits on it, isn't there? Next, Super Scavenger Grobo finds an old wheel that'll form the base for their snow-blowing fan. Well, we could just chop this off, chop the bolts off and use the disc in the middle. That saves us half hour, doesn't it? And not to be outdone, scavenging partner Tony finds an oil drum to act as a housing for the fan. With all the parts back at the build bay... Marvellous. That's the kitty. Let's Marvelous. take some time to understand how their design works. The Dark Rider's complicated build uses a whopping three engines. The first one drives a screw that breaks up snow. The second engine is the motorbike that they'll mount on the front of their Jeep to drive their snow-shifting fan. And the third is in the Jeep that'll transport the whole kit and caboodle up the snowy slope. But with three engines, as you can imagine, things are three times more likely to go wrong. <coughs> The Dark Riders have accelerated well into the lead. I could see a little bit of a track. Oh. But the aquarium crew are having a little bit of luck of their own. It's dinky. Is it, is, it is dinky, isn't it? And no. the emphasis is on the word little. I'm wrong, yeah. No. So the aquarium crew have found their tracked vehicle at last. Tiny. They really think they're going to get up a 10 degree hill with that. Oh, Aquarium crew, I'm worried. I think it might be a bit small. You said size didn't matter. You know I said small or big? Well, small. Well, I was hoping that we were for bigger, but... Yeah, Sorry? Is, we were hoping for bigger, but that is very... So the screw that you was back. after just now, is it bigger than this? About yeah, five times the weight. Yeah. <laughs> well, if that's what we've got to work with, we'll work with it. It'll yeah. be fine. So you're happy with this? Good for having a go. Do you know what? I, I'm over the moon. Aren't Don't we, we good? <laughs> oh, Bobby, I'm slightly concerned. I've just spotted Wally and Nutty from the aquarium crew taking the smallest tracked vehicle I think I've ever seen. But it's ah. actually a vehicle, not a toy. Right. Back to their build area. Oh, no. Because they were saying we're looking for a tracked vehicle, and I, I wandered around looking for it, like some huge like bulldozer thing. Very reasonable. I think it's some kind of gardening implement. But if the mound's like that, yeah, and that's got to go through it, they'll get traction from it. If they just want to carry some some well, some conifers, I suppose you could plant in the snow, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, they might need some help with some reindeers <laughs> pulling it. They're never going to get them on that. I'm no. going up the snow. Oh, so it's really not big. It's like a, a track it's, it's wheelbarrow big. thing. It's that big. Oh no, it's tiny. Absolutely tiny. Next door, I mean, certainly Kent and Coxie seem to be quite happy about the the design. Because I know when I spoke to them on, on when they were scavenging, their scavengers, to Tony and Grobo, they were talking about one engine to, to deal with that, to actually to yeah. do the, the fan, the whizzy fan, and then another one to power some kind of, sort of, uh, I don't know, a sort of scoop to scoop oh, it out really? of the way. Oh, really? stick it on there. Which I can't help feeling is maybe overcomplicating things. So, yeah, three engines. Yeah. Engine in Because the, they've got the Jeep, haven't they? They've got the little, little Jeep thing. Yeah. Three engines, yeah, three engines, bound to be reliable on scrap heap. You, know, you can just sit back and relax and let the engines do the work. Yes. I've got a funny feeling that by the end of today, that may be not how, how their design yeah. ends up. The Dark Riders love nothing more than fixing their hogs, but getting that old 80s racer started seems to be giving these bite nuts a bit of bother. That's, that's been cut, that's snapped or something. This is your fuel pipe, yeah? That's the fuel pipe. I'm pretty sure of it. The bike's a runner. Let's just hope it will produce enough power to blow their snow. not exactly known for its snow-capped mountains, so he travelled all the way to Borney, Scotland to find this week's judge. And snow is his forte. He's the MD of the UK's oldest manufacturer of snow-clearing vehicles. Welcome, Raymond Reed. Now, Raymond, with both teams, one of the things, key things they've got to manage to do before they even hit walls of snow is drive on snow. Get mm. traction as a... The secret, and that's going to be the secret for both teams. Right. Tomorrow when we do the, the yeah. actual test. 
we do know with the dark riders they've got their four wheel drive yep. little jeep thing. So do you think that's got a that's got a good chance of? Well, four wheel drives are, are one of the best options to right. go on if, if they can put some sort of chain spikes something on the wheels. Right. To give even them a bit of extra the grip. Even the tyres, it should benefit them. Right. But now the aquarium crew. I was great. They were, when they were talking about <coughs> tracked vehicles, they had all these visions of like enormous caterpillar tractors. Yeah, and they've taken in really what looks like a baby little, a little sort of toy machine, isn't it? This uh, worries me slightly just the size of it, considering it's, it's, it's got to push a snowblower. I'm not sure if the horsepower's there. I don't, I'm not I'm, sure if the traction will be there either. How are they actually going to move these big piles of snow out of the way to get through? Basically, traditional snowblowers are an idea of going in, cutting the snow, feeding it into a, an impeller. Right. And basically the impeller yeah, effectively blows pumping out it out. Yeah. Top. yeah, exactly. Right. I believe the aquarium crew are going to use an auger to actually just push. Which is like a spirally thing That's on a bar, right. and that spins yeah. round. So that just does that not that doesn't just scoop it to one end then. That just that cuts it up and sends well, it Well, what I believe what they're looking to do is, is break the snow up, and basically right. the auger will and just the push will to the push side right. and, and drop it out. All oh, right, I see. Uh, whereas the dart riders are using a, a motorbike engine on an impeller. And once the auger, the front breaks it up, this impeller will then eject it out right. the side. A lot of power. Yeah. It's four wheel drive against tracks, isn't it? Yeah. Was, was going to do it in the end. Lack of power, a lot of power. Yes. More traction. Less, Less traction. traction, yes. That screw is huge. How on earth will the aquarium crew mount it to that tiny tracked barrow? But Captain Lottie has other worries. Have we got to do this as a sit on? Yes. Yeah, we'll go with the ski. You've got oh, a ski the on the ski. back, yeah. yeah. Snowboard. Yeah. Or a snowboard? Yeah. I'll snowboard tie it to you. Okay. <laughs> right, so snowboard's out the back. Hmm, nice. After a great morning, the dark riders have hit a bit of a hiccup. That Jeep is just the ticket. I've had a look in manual <laughs> and I can't see, and it's doing my head in. But I can't get to it. Only problem is, they can't get under the bonnet. And the only end does it take to open the bonnet in a Suzuki? So with the builds about to start in earnest... What's the plan now, then? ..both teams have a lot of head-scratching. It's a tricky build for this semi-final, as our two top teams try to build super snow-shifting machines like this. I think we've got a throttle stuck there. <laughs> Fish tank fabricators, the aquarium crew, and their expert, Mark, want to move snow using an engine-driven screw, all mounted on top of a tiny motorised barrow to make a tracked snow mower. Right, watch that clutch cable. Just pull the clutch housing out of the way. Bike nuts the dark riders and their expert, Ken, plan to throw snow with their motorbike-driven fan to make a 4x4 snow blower. Don't have a look, see that's straight enough. Apart from the minor hiccup of not being able to open the bonnet of their Jeep, the Dark Riders have made incredible progress. They've mounted their bike onto the front of the Jeep, and Captain Tony has worked out where the fan's drive shaft will be attached to the bike. Take that out, so it'll go on fully, and then bolt that on, and then that'll just have to be welded onto that. As the Dark Riders plan becomes reality... Unbelievable. Aquarium crew scavenger Wally is just considering a change of plan. <sighs> Inside that old beet harvester is a flail that's used to cut crops, but Wally thinks it could be perfect to break up snow. Um, so we need as many of them so we can get off. Ugh. So the whole team head out to have a look. These flails are great, we'll have these, but I just think these on, on a bit of chew far. or something. Do you think this is a good idea? I don't, I'm, do you know what, I'm not convinced. Now, Raymond, it looks to me like the aquarium crew, <laughs> they do seem, seem to be struggling, but the, the dark riders seem to be ploughing on rather well. Yeah, both, both teams have now moved in opposite directions. Aquarium, they just seem to have self-imploded for some reason. Yeah. Change of direction, start arguing about it. In fact, I believe they're out in the, the heap at this the whole, point. I just saw the whole lot of them walk yeah. out just now. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were walking off, but so they had enough. They, they seem to have found already built flail out there. I mean, do you, and do you think that method will work? If that is spinning fast, breaking up the snow, presumably Yeah, basically, it basically it's there just to break up the ice. They've, I think they've already decided that there's no way this vehicle is going to carry four people. <laughs> it might um, drag one. It might drag one, yeah. <laughs> I believe they're watching a snowboard as we speak. <laughs> 
I think that's going to be essential. But then next door then, the Dark Riders, definitely their, their system seems to be working. And are they stuck to their original plan too? And they're all pulling the same way. The only thing that worries me in the build there is getting the balance in the impeller. Right. Because if the impeller goes, it'll just shake the whole front end off. Yes. So they've got a, and they're building that from scratch. Building it from scratch. Yeah, yeah. Using a bike engine to spin yeah. it, so they're looking for somewhere between two, two and a half thousand revs. Yeah. Now if that starts shaking, you, you feel it. <clears> I'll <throat> stand behind you. <laughs> but I'll be running. <laughs> so, so the flowers uncovered at the front. The they should be building, but the aquarium crew are still out on the heap, discussing whether to use the flail or the screw. Yeah, are we going for this? Well, I guess so. Well, we don't have to. No, uh, teams, I... you have five hours remaining. Halfway through the build day today, five hours remaining. Thank you. Do you want to go for a flail? Or... Flail alone. <laughs> There's a million options, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> a bit late in the day to start chopping, changing the mines, I suppose. Is that what we're going for? Yeah. Fine. Jobs are good. Finally, a decision. They're going with the flail. So as Wally cuts it out, the abandoned screw is thrown back to the heap. The aquarium crew's original plan was to use a screw to break up the snow and move it out of their path. But they now feel the simpler design of using the flail to chop snow might be better. With nowhere for the snow to go, they could be making mountains out of molehills. Oh. Now the team's designs couldn't be any more different. It's the fish fan's snow flail versus bike nuts auger. But the aquarium crew will have to get a move on if they want to catch up with the dark riders who are racing through their build. Scavenger Tony is making good progress fabricating a snow shifting fan. And Grubbo may not look like your typical office worker, but he's making easy work of turning that filing cabinet into a snow shovel. This thing going to hold up? This is going to be absolutely brilliant. Is it? Well, it will be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will be when we're finished. Afternoon, sure. lads. Afternoon. Lovely job you got there. Motorbike on the front of a Jeep. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Now, I've seen your, that's your spinning thing. I noticed that. That's the yeah. impeller. Yeah. Yeah. The, the impeller. Does that go in here spinning around like that? No, this goes on the that outside. Goes on the outside? Goes on this side. We've right. got a hole in the back of here and it goes on the outside there. Right. So you just drive this into the snow? Oh, yes. As we're driving in, It'll be forced into that and that'll, and that'll throw, throw it at the top. Right. Just momentum. Right. And then, so you're getting drive off the motorbike. Will you, how yeah. will you get that? Do, do, have you worked that out? Oh, a shaft down it. And so there's a, is that a shaft drive bike though? Was that? No. Oh, right. no, 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 we've no, made sorry, a shaft sorry. to go off to we, it. We made a hole in the casing there. Oh, ah, wow. You're taking a shaft straight out of that. Yeah, so we've made a coupling to go up. It goes into that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a That's all in there already. That's a scrap heap first. I've never seen that before. All right, guys. I'll see you later. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Cheers. Cheers. Take care. Bye. It's all yours. She's away. Next door, the aquarium crew's build has been like a rudderless boat, <coughs> with no captain at the helm. But pulling themselves together, they've started to mount their big blue engine to their tiny tracked barrow, and everything is going fine until... Whoa! <coughs> what happened there? <sighs> you all right? You hurt, Paul? No, no, I'm all right. We crushed something. The engine fell off the barrow, crushing an oil pipe in the process. Has this been one knock too many for our fishy fanatics from Dorset? All right, good. Yeah, good. All right, Charlotte. Aquarium crew. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you doing? G uh, good. <laughs> uh, Sorry, really? Good. All right then. Bad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> yeah, I have to say you're looking. Slightly frazzled. Oh, yeah. Well, it's fine now. It's fine now. No, talk, it's not. Talk it is. Me through. We, we've had a decision. We know which way we're going. And that's it. We're sticking to it. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going flail only. We're going to go crazy that and just obliterate the mound. Everywhere. Aren't we? For obliteration. We're, we're doing, doing that. that. Spectacular. Aquarium crew, this is not a team who last time you were here built a, an amazing jet engine. What's happened to you today? Lottie, just do you think you weren't strong enough as a captain? Uh, I did. Well, I kind of did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, 
obviously not. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I was being silly for comic effect. So, Mark, you think what you're ending up with now is going to be a working machine? It's going to do the job? It's going to do the job, but where it's going to throw it, I don't know. I think the driver's going to end up as being a snowman. Oh, aquarium crew. <laughs> <laughs> I really want this to work and, and my faith is being sorely tested. Mm. I, what I'll do, I'll get out and let you get on with it. I'll see you later on. Cheers, see guys. Later, Bye. Bye. If the aquarium crew's misery is not enough, their opposition has stepped up another gear. Scavenger Tony is unstoppable. First off, he makes a fan housing from an oil drum. Beautiful. Next, he makes a hole in their shovel for the snow to pass through so it can be blown out by their fan. Look at that. And then he marks out where the fan's drive shaft will connect to the shovel. One of those. <laughs> ah, good old precision engineering at its best. But not everything is going to plan. This ogre's not going terribly well. I'm not happy with this. Ken thinks their screw is too puny to break up snow. Luckily, Captain Coxie has an idea. What are you after? Well, couldn't help noticing you've got this <laughs> lovely Hakubi. This mighty fine right. big got that. screw yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Planning to use it. Uh, Can't say really. No. Yeah. It's going to cost Why? you a working vehicle. Yeah. A working vehicle. Yeah. You spotted one down the yard. You can have it with pleasure. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, take it away. Yeah, it's fine. you can have that yeah. one. Yeah. Smash in. Thank you. Not only are the aquarium crew behind, but it seems they spent valuable time scavenging for the opposition. Did you get that one? Nicked it from next door. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> they they wanted to swap it for a working vehicle, so I did. I said, there's plenty out there, just go and find one. <laughs> <laughs> Teams, your attention please. Good news all round. You've got two hours remaining. Yes, two, two hours. hours? Two hours? <laughs> yeah, on. Oh dear. Where has the last three gone? That's just no. Oh. Oh, Where's the last eight gone? As the aquarium <laughs> crew struggle, the opposition has time to make some design modifications. Captain Coxie is trying to make a device out of two screws to break up snow and feed it into their shovel. That'll work. That'll work. We're going anti-clockwise, which is. That's going anti-clockwise. That's pushing into the centre. That's going anti-clock. That's pushing into the centre. That'll yeah, work. that's it. We're done. That'll work, yeah. One screw by itself will happily shift snow by picking it up into its thread and then screwing it out to one side. What Captain Coxie wants to do is put two screws together with opposing threads so that they both turn in different directions. This will funnel the snow into the centre of the shovel. But if he gets it wrong, all their snow will be doing is spilling out one side. Right. Right, we just bashed, I'll straighten these out a bit. Good, good. That's funny. I'm no expert, but those two screws look like they're going in the same direction. As night falls on the heap, time is short for the aquarium crew. But luckily, the simplicity of their new design, the flail, means they're in with a shout. Come on, Grunt. And now, with Captain Lottie back in control, it's all action stations. Actually, remember, I've had two quite interesting comments from both teams today. This is the hardest build we've done. I think they've both found it pretty tough, haven't they? But the Dark Riders, they've won the build, I think, haven't they? They've yeah, done really definitely. well. This is going to have to be absolutely yeah. spot on straight. And they seem to all start pulling together in the one direction, decided on the way to go and the design to go and, and stuck to it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it does seem that the, the aquarium crew have, have broken, it is the cardinal rule of Scrappy. You know, you have a plan at the beginning and you stick to it. Oh, giddy on. I mean, given the, the 10 hours, yeah. uh, as you see, you've really got to decide during hour one yeah. which way you're going to go. <laughs> stick to it and get it built. That oh. one's welding there now. Which one would you put your 50p on? I think my 50 pence would be in the Dark Riders at this moment in time. Is it? Right. Yeah. You think yeah. that one's going to work better? It's, it's got everything there, like a traditional snow cutter, snow blower. Yeah. So... We shall see what happens tomorrow. The Dark Riders are quickly pulled down to earth when Captain Coxie realises he's made a mistake with their screw. 
Bit of a cock up. What have you done, mate? Well, isn't they the same screw, aren't they? They're meant to be turning in different directions. <laughs> chop it in half and turn it round. You can. can. It's Which, like, uh, it's like a, a bolt. If you chop it in half and turn it round, it doesn't it's operate into a left-hand screw. Right. If that's a left-hand screw, it's a left-hand screw no matter which way around you put it. So we haven't got a, an opposite screw. I thought we checked it. We did check it. <laughs> Badly. Checked it Badly, wrong. yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm glad you said we. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go for half a screw. How annoying for the dark riders. <laughs> After a near-perfect build, they've had to make compromises at the 11th hour. Oh, Lise. Oh, the aquarium crew, they've had a tough day. But Lottie's, you know, she, she's come back. She, I think she's, I've never known any captain lose control of the team to such a degree. But she's got them back. You want it like that, don't you? Yeah. They have almost finished and they've got their engine in that's connected up. You know, I mean, it's amazing what they've managed to do. The flailing things are going to be spinning around with enormous power. And that engine is so powerful. It's going to do something going, to it. No one knows where the snow, I think it may push the snow further into the ground. Yes, just, just compact crush it. it. Just crush it into the ground, yeah. Oh dear. Over in the Dark Riders, they've made the machine which, which looks like it could work. Yeah. I have to say, they haven't got the snow chains on yet, but that can be a tinkering right, time yeah. thing. Well, I think it's on it now. And then they're just putting their third engine on. They're going to have a belt drive down to a little screw that just goes across the front of their bucket. I mean, who knows who's going to win the test, but I think if a team had to win the build, it probably oh, yeah, would be no, Dark Riders. Dark Riders won the build by miles. Yeah. yeah. After a day that has essentially belonged to the Dark Riders, both teams use the dying moments of the build to finish their slightly compromised machines. Okay, teams, your time is up and work on your snow-shifting machines must now end! Well done, guys. Well done. well done. Let's hope your machines don't freeze under pressure, because tomorrow they'll be racing on real snow <laughs> in temperatures of less than 4 degrees centigrade. Well done, teams. You got there in the end. <laughs> well done, team. Well done, team. A difficult build. Thank you. Cheers, love. Our teams have managed to make two super snow shifting machines for this semi final, but they really have to make the most of their tinker time as they still have loads to do. With this 10 degree slippery slope to deal with, both teams are making design modifications to give them extra traction in the snow. Now, obviously, Roman, this tinker time is frenetic today, it really is. I'm trying to envisage what's going to happen then when they. they drive up the slope and they hit the first big burn of snow. The beauty with the aquarium crew is they're going to be going so slow because it's going at walking pace. Yeah. The flails are going to come in and take the snow right, away so before the they actually right, get so it. before they, the machine effectively yeah. touches it, it's already mashing that's, it. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. The dark riders, on the other hand, will approach it at speed. But now the augers on the front looks, looks really good until you start looking at it and you go, hang on a minute, that's all going, it is all going one way, it's isn't it? It's all going so? one way. For all that's going to be pushing the snow away, it will cut up any lumps. Yes as it comes into the hopper. Right. So it shouldn't really cause a big problem, yeah. as long as you keep the forward momentum going. Yes. But now you've seen both machines, you know, 99% <coughs> completed, have you changed your mind at all? Well, I think my, my 50 pence is still... It's, it's still firmly on. Still going to going with the Dark Riders, yeah. right. Before the race, there's time for a quick test fire. Both the teams will need their machines in good working order to tackle this massive snowy slope. And if that wasn't enough, they have to do it in temperatures of minus four centigrade. First to the snow is the hot favourites, the Dark Riders. After their amazing build, they have every reason to be confident. Dark Riders, it is the moment of truth. I can see the old, uh, the old snow drifts up there. Mm -hmm. Think you're going to get through them? We're going to give oh. it a go try. Predictions, you're going to get through one, two or all three? Three. Three. Tony's up. In three. Ten, in ten minutes, because <laughs> it's cold. Dark Rise, enjoy it. You get one shot, so give it your very best. Thank right. you. Cheers. See you at the other end. Cheers. Cheers. See you later. Dark Riders, you're one run up the hill away from reaching the final. Don't blow your chances. Go on the wave of the flag in three, two, one. Look at that speed. Go for it. They're straight in there, and traction is no problem. Well, now it is chucking snow out. That's fantastic. And I think the snow is also cooling the engine, which is very good. Even their slightly compromised screw is making light work of that snow. This 
this team have been on great form from start to finish. It's one of the most unpleasantly smelling vehicles I've ever been anywhere near. It really stinks. Rob's right, that smell could be a worry. And that smoke could be problematic too. Let it clutch out. Let it clutch out. Oh no, that smell was the clutch going on their Jeep. As a last gasp, they have just enough power for one last push. Go for it, Rob, go on. Clutch has given up on it. The clutch has completely gone on the Dark Rider's Jeep, rendering it totally useless. Beached on top of a snowdrift. What a lifeline for the Aquarium crew. After their catastrophic build, they now have a chance to win this. All they have to do is get over that first slope. Aquarium crew, it is the moment of truth. Nearly time for the off. You can see the course before you. What are your thoughts? Can't wait. Speak. <laughs> I think Wally and Natty, you're going to be driving it, aren't you? Yeah. Just give yeah. it your all. It's a one shot. Exactly. So, you know. It's all or nothing. Very, very best of luck, Aquarium crew. Enjoy it. Thanks Thank you. Very much. Bye. Aquarium crew, your icy garden awaits. On the wave of the flag, go and mow some snow. Three, two, one. Let's go, go, go. The Aquarium crew know there's only one slope between them and a place in the final. If they can just get through it. Give it some revs. There we are. Go Look on. at that. That flail is doing its job, smashing into the snow. Now they're working their way through it slowly, aren't they? They are getting there. Yeah, because they're losing traction on the little, little track. You keep the track spinning for them. They might be losing traction, but if they keep moving, they'll get through it. They're making steady progress. And it's looking like they're onto a winner. I tell you what, that chain's giving wibbly, wibbly, wobbly. That chain is definitely doing wibbly, wobbly. Oh, oh for me. That's the end of that. It's a serious chain reaction. That, to was, that was. Oh. <laughs> chain reaction. Oh. oh no! It's a classic scrap heap technical failure. Oh. The chain has snapped, oh. and it's all over for the aquarium crew. <laughs> oh well. Oh, fair play to them. They give it a good go. <laughs> oh, poor Wally. We're nearly through that. Today, snow has proved just what a tough customer it is. But our teams made two valiant attempts. Hot favourites, the Dark Riders, were looking good until they fried their clutch. Making way for underdogs, the Aquarium crew, to have a real chance at getting a place in the final. And it was all looking oh so good, until Lady Luck turned her back and their chain snapped. Oh, oh. Hey, that's the end of that. Well, teams, I think it's fair to say that wasn't the most successful test we've ever done. <laughs> but... To be fair to both teams, none of you lost your senses of humour. You were good sports about it all, and you both tried incredibly hard. And at the end, there were literally a couple of inches in it. But the winner of the uphill snow clearing challenge and the team that are going on to the scrappy finals are the Dark Riders. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> And don't forget to join us again when our next two teams of semi-finalists will be thrown in at the deep end. We'll see you then. Next week, a bunch of military enthusiasts and some model makers go in search of treasure in an amazing underwater adventure. Yeah.